Hey, I'm Sean Phillips with Yahoo Movies, and coming out this week is a great new movie called Public Enemies. It stars Johnny Depp, and he plays the character of John Dillinger, who was a legendary outlaw back in the Great Depression. Turns out that he was a great movie lover, and he saw his last film here at the legendary Biograph Theater. You'll see what I mean when you catch the movie, but in the meantime, we're going to go talk to Johnny Depp, Christian Bale, Academy Award winning Marion Cotillard. So let's get it going. We'll have a lot of fun. What is it exactly you do for anything? John Dillinger, I love banks. We're having too good a time today. We ain't thinking about tomorrow. Certainly his line of work would put him in the villain category, but what he represented is the common man. How long does it take you to go through a bank? About one minute, 40 seconds. <laughs> Flat. The banks started taking people's lives away, and Dylan just said, no, I'm having something, you know. Don't get up against that wall. He was a product of his time. You know, people had had so much taken away from them. Whole families losing their livelihoods and homes. So it's understandable why people actually were cheering him on. Well, the whole country thinks you're a damn hero. I do believe he was a kind of a Robin Hood. There were accounts of Dillinger giving money back to farmers saying, hey, man, I don't want your money. I want the banks, not yours. That's your money, mister? Yes. We're here for the bank's money, not yours. Put it away. Nevertheless, you know, people did die as a result of what Dillinger did. So it is complexity there. That's what makes him so uh, fascinating. You ain't going nowhere. I'm going to die an old man in your arms. It's really a Michael Mann thing. When he tells a story about men, there's a strong women on their side. You want to take that ride with me? Yeah, I want to take that ride with you. Doing an American accent is really not easy for someone who started to learn English quite late. And I really wanted Michael to be happy with my work. So this was the technical part. Why'd you do that? Because you're with me now. I don't know anything about you. You know, I'd done all the research. I'd known a lot about Dillinger already, but I realized that Dillinger was born and raised 60, 70 miles from where I was born and raised. I was raised on a farm in Mooresville, Indiana. My mama died when I was three. My daddy beat the hell out of me because he didn't know no better way to raise me. That was the key where I thought, oh my God, you know, I know what he talks like. I know what he sounds like. And so I, I kind of based John Dillinger on fact and then on people I knew, like my grandfather, my stepfather. And, Baseball, movies, good clothes, fast cars, whiskey, and you. What else you need to know? 